Catherine Drexel, November 26, 1858 to March 3, 1955, was an American heiress, philanthropist, religious sister, educator, and foundress. She was canonized by the Roman Catholic Church in 2000. Her feast day is observed on March 3. She was the second canonized saint to have been born in the United States and the first to have been born a U.S. citizen. She was inducted into the National Women's Hall of Fame in 2011. Early life Catherine Mary Drexel was born Catherine Mary Drexel in Philadelphia on November 26, 1858, the second child of investment banker Francis Anthony Drexel and Hannah Langstroth. Hannah died five weeks after her baby's birth. For two years Catherine and her sister, Elizabeth, were cared for by their aunt and uncle, Ellen and Anthony Drexel. When Francis married Emma Bouvier in 1860 he brought his two daughters home. A third daughter, Louisa, was born in 1863. Louisa would marry General Edward Morell. The Morells actively promoted and advanced the welfare of African Americans throughout the country. The Morells used their wealth to build magnificent institutions that served and aided the education and upward mobility of African Americans, Gen. Morell took charge of the Indian work, while Catherine Drexel was in her novitiate. Private tutors educated the girls at their home. They toured parts of the United States and Europe with their parents. Twice weekly, the Drexel family distributed food, clothing, and rent assistance from their family home at 1503 Walnut Street in Philadelphia. When widows or lonely single women were too proud to come to the Drexels for assistance, the family sought them out, but always quietly. As Emma Drexel taught her daughters, "...kindness may be unkind if it leaves a sting behind." As a young and wealthy woman, Drexel made her social debut in 1878. However, watching her stepmother's three-year struggle with terminal cancer taught her the Drexel money could not buy safety from pain or death. Her life took a profound turn. She had always been interested in the plight of Native Americans, having been appalled by what she read in Helen Hunt Jackson's A Century of Dishonor. When her family traveled to the Western States in 1884, Catherine Drexel saw the plight and destitution of the Native Americans. She wanted to do something specific to help. Thus began her lifelong personal and financial support of numerous missions and missionaries in the United States. After her father died in 1885, Catherine and her sisters had contributed money to help the St. Francis Mission on South Dakota's Rosebud Reservation. For many years she took spiritual direction from a longtime family friend, Father James O'Connor, a Philadelphia priest who later was appointed Vicar Apostolic of Nebraska. When Kate wrote him of her desire to join a contemplative order, Bishop O'Connor suggested, Wait a while longer. Wait and pray. Catherine and her sisters Elizabeth and Louise were still mourning their father when they sailed to Europe in 1886. Their high-powered banker father left behind a $15.5 million estate and instructions to divide it among his three daughters after expenses and specific charitable donations. However, to prevent his daughters from falling prey to fortune hunters, Francis Drexel crafted his will so that his daughters controlled income from his estate, but upon their deaths, their inheritance would flow to their children. The will stipulated that if there were no grandchildren, upon his daughter's deaths, Drexel's estate would be distributed to several religious orders and charities—the Society of Jesus, the Christian Brothers, the Religious of the Sacred Heart, a Lutheran hospital and others. Because their father's charitable donations totaled about $1.5 million, the sisters shared the income produced by $14 million—about $1,000 a day for each woman. In current dollars, the estate would be worth about $400 million. <inaudible> <inaudible> religious vocation In January 1887, the sisters were received in a private audience by Pope Leo XIII. They asked him for missionaries to staff some Indian missions that they had been financing. To their surprise, the Pope suggested that Catherine become a missionary herself. Although Drexel had already received marriage proposals, after consultation with her spiritual director, Bishop James O'Connor, she made the decision to give herself totally to God, along with her inheritance, through service to American Indians and Afro-Americans. 
Her uncle, Anthony Drexel, tried to dissuade her from entering religious life, but she entered the Sisters of Mercy convent in Pittsburgh in May 1889 to begin her six-month postulancy. Her decision rocked Philadelphia social circles. The Philadelphia Public Ledger carried a banner headline, Miss Drexel enters a Catholic convent, gives up seven million. Topic: <laughs> Sisters of the Blessed Sacrament. On February 12, 1891, Drexel professed her first vows as a religious, dedicating herself to work among the American Indians and African Americans in the western and southwestern United States. She took the name Mother Catherine, and, joined by thirteen other women, soon established a religious congregation, the Sisters of the Blessed Sacrament. Mother Frances Cabrini had advised Drexel about the politics of getting her new order's rule approved by the Vatican bureaucracy in Rome. A few months later, Philadelphia Archbishop Ryan blessed the cornerstone of the new motherhouse under construction in Ben Salem, Pennsylvania. In the first of many incidents that indicated Drexel's convictions for social justice were not shared by all, a stick of dynamite was discovered near the site. Requests for help and advice reached Mother Catherine from various parts of the United States. After three and a half years of training, she and her first band of nuns opened a boarding school, St. Catherine's Indian School, in Santa Fe, New Mexico. In 1897, Mother Drexel asked the friars of St. John the Baptist Province of the Order of Friars Minor Franciscans in Cincinnati, Ohio, to staff a mission among the Navajos in Arizona and New Mexico on a 160-acre tract of land she had purchased two years earlier. Mother Catherine Drexel stretched the Cincinnati friars apostolically since most of them previously had worked in predominantly German-American parishes. A few years later, she also helped finance the work of the friars among the Pueblo Native Americans in New Mexico. In 1910, Drexel financed the printing of 500 copies of A Navajo English Catechism of Christian Doctrine for the Use of Navajo Children, written by Fathers Anselm, Juvenal, Berard and Leopold Osterman. About a hundred friars from St. John the Baptist Province started Our Lady of Guadalupe Province in 1985. Headquartered in Albuquerque, New Mexico, they continue to work on the Navajo Reservation with the Sisters of the Blessed Sacrament. In all, Drexel established 145 missions, 50 schools for African Americans, and 12 schools for Native Americans. Xavier University of Louisiana, the only historically black Catholic college in the U.S., also owes its existence to Drexel and the Sisters. Death and legacy Mother Catherine Drexel died at the age of 96, on March 3, 1955, at her order's motherhouse in Cornwell's Heights, Pa, where she is buried, because neither of her biological sisters had children. After Mother Catherine's death, pursuant to their father's will, the Sisters of the Blessed Sacrament no longer had the Drexel fortune available to support their ministries. Nonetheless, the order continues to pursue their original apostolate, working with African Americans and Native Americans in 21 states and Haiti. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Veneration. Her cause for beatification was introduced in 1966. Pope John Paul II formally declared Drexel venerable on January 26, 1987, and beatified her on November 20, 1988, after concluding that Robert Gutherman was miraculously cured of deafness in 1974 after his family prayed for Mother Drexel's intercession. Mother Drexel was canonized on October 1, 2000, one of only a few U.S.-born saints and the second natural-born U.S. citizen saint Elizabeth Ann Seton was the first native-born U.S. citizen canonized, in 1975. Canonization occurred after the Vatican determined that two-year-old Amy Wall had been miraculously healed of nerve deafness in both ears through Catherine Drexel's intercession in 1994. The Vatican cited fourfold aspects of Drexel's legacy, 2132 A love of the Eucharist and perspective on the unity of all peoples Courage and initiative in addressing social inequality among minorities, 100 years before such concern aroused public interest in the United States her belief in quality education for all and efforts to achieve it, and selfless service, including the donation of her inheritance, for the victims of injustice. <laughs> 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 
Topic: <laughs> St. Catherine Drexel Mission Center and Shrine. The St. Catherine Drexel Mission Center and National Shrine is located in Ben Salem, Pennsylvania. The Mission Center offers retreat programs, historic site tours, days of prayer, presentations about St. Catherine Drexel, as well as lectures and seminars related to her legacy. Furniture, photo displays, and other artifacts tell the story of St. Catherine Drexel, the Sisters of the Blessed Sacrament. Her tomb lies under the main altar in St. Elizabeth Chapel. With also artifacts and relics she used, or had. Originally known as St. Elizabeth's Convent, it was listed on the National Register of Historic Places in 1978. Much of the art displayed in St. Elizabeth Chapel are works by or about Native American, African and Haitian artists and musicians. As of May 3, 2016, Sister Donna Breslin, President of the Order, announced that the 44-acre property in Ben Salem, including the Mother House and Shrine, as well as 2,200 acres in Powhatan, Virginia, will be offered for sale. The shrine closed at the end of 2017. St. Catherine's remains were moved to the Cathedral Basilica of Saints Peter and Paul in Philadelphia, where she and her family worshipped when she was a child. Relics A second-class relic of St. Catherine Drexel can be found inside the altar of the Lady Chapel at St. Raphael the Archangel Catholic Church in Raleigh, North Carolina, and in the Day Chapel of St. Catherine Drexel Parish in Sugar Grove, Illinois. Namesakes <inaudible> 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 Numerous Catholic parishes, schools, and churches bear the name of St. Catherine Drexel. Parishes St. Catherine Drexel Parish of Ioni, California St. Catherine Drexel Parish of Martel, California St. Catherine Drexel Parish of Cape Coral, Florida St. Catherine Drexel Parish of Venice, Florida St. Catherine Drexel Parish of Weston, Florida St. Catherine Drexel Mission of Trenton, Georgia St. Catherine Drexel Parish of Cascade, Idaho St. Catherine Drexel Parish of Springfield, Illinois St. Catherine Drexel Parish of Sugar Grove, Illinois St. Catherine Drexel Parish of Frederick, Maryland St. Catherine Drexel Parish of Roxbury, Massachusetts St. Catherine Drexel Parish of Ramsey, Minnesota St. Catherine Drexel Parish of Alton, New Hampshire St. Catherine Drexel Parish of Burlington, New Jersey St. Catherine Drexel Parish of Egg Harbor Township, New Jersey St. Catherine Drexel Parish of Buffalo, New York St. Catherine Drexel Parish of Chester, Pennsylvania St. Catherine Drexel Parish of Lansford, Pennsylvania St. Catherine Drexel Parish of Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania St. Catherine Drexel Parish of Pleasant Mount, Pennsylvania St. Catherine Drexel Parish of Sioux Falls, South Dakota St. Catherine Drexel Parish of Hempstead, Texas St. Catherine Drexel Parish of Beaver Dam, Wisconsin St. Catherine Drexel Parish of Kakana, Wisconsin St. Catherine Drexel Parish of New Orleans, F. K. A. Holy Ghost Parish St. Joseph's Shrine of St. Catherine Drexel, Columbia, Virginia Our Lady of the Assumption Catholic Church's Shrine of St. Catherine Drexel, Karen Crow, Louisiana Schools St. Catherine Drexel founded St. Michael Indian School, serving grades K-12 in St. Michael's, Arizona, in 1902. St. Catherine Drexel was instrumental in the establishment of Blessed Sacrament Catholic School, Beaumont, Texas, and Sacred Heart Catholic School, Port Arthur, Texas. Both schools were staffed by the Sisters of the Blessed Sacrament. St. Catherine Drexel helped establish St. Joseph Indian Normal School, now called Drexel Hall on the campus of St. Joseph's College, Rensselaer, Indiana. The Indian Normal School operated for eight years, from 1888 to 1896. St. Catherine Drexel also founded St. Peter Claver Catholic School in Macon, Georgia in 1913 with the help of Bishop Benjamin Keeley and Father Ignatius Listener. 
Schools named in her honor include Catherine Drexel Elementary School of Broussard, Louisiana St. Catherine Drexel School of St. Cloud and Sauk Rapids, Minnesota St. Catherine Drexel School of St. Louis St. Catherine Drexel School of Philadelphia St. Catherine Drexel School of Sioux Falls, South Dakota St. Catherine Drexel School of Beaver Dam, Wisconsin St. Catherine Drexel Regional Catholic School of Holland, Pennsylvania St. Catherine Drexel Preparatory High School New Orleans St. Catherine Drexel School of Wichita, Kansas St. Catherine Drexel Adult Learning Center, Catholic Charities of Tulsa, Oklahoma Street. Catherine Drexel Preparatory, Catholic Diocese of Richmond, Virginia Topic. Churches and chapels St. Catherine Drexel Chapel and Retirement Center, El Reno, Oklahoma St. Catherine Drexel Catholic Church, New Orleans St. Catherine Drexel Catholic Mission, Maple, North Carolina St. Catherine Drexel Catholic Church, Martell, California St. Catherine Drexel Summer Chapel, Harpswell, Maine Street Catherine Drexel Chapel on the campus of Xavier University of Louisiana, New Orleans. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Streets. Drexel Road, Tucson, Arizona. Drexel Drive, New Orleans, LA. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Other The St. Catherine Drexel Region of the Secular Franciscan Order Catherine Drexel Library located on Knights Road in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania See also U.S. Catholic Saints, Blessed, Venerables, and Servants of God Sisters of the Blessed Sacrament Xavier University of Louisiana